Good morning, folks. We've got some interesting stuff to hit today. Hubble celebrates 10 years of scoping the solar system. We'll check out dark comets. Yet another confirmation of the animal kingdom's need to use Earth's magnetic field. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where things were moderately active. We have continued to take M-class solar flares, but they're impulsive, not creating coronal mass ejections, and the filaments are stable too. They are presenting a significant eruption threat, but so far, it's been minimal. Here's the GOES X-ray flux showing the M-class flares that we've taken, short-lived spikes of eruptive X-ray activity. They're fairly well distributed around the active regions as well. You can see here how it's not just one sunspot group, but several that have the flare flashing. We'll continue monitoring them as well as the plasma filaments. There are two established active regions and one growing as it turns in from the limb. Big ones there, gaining magnetic mixing potential over the last 24 hours, and then the growing group incoming on the south over to the left. Let's go to Hubble next, where an article is breaking down the best of Hubble's solar system scope. In focus are the 2024 shots of Jupiter and Saturn. They were some of the most incredible ever taken, and they serve as the baseline for what Webb and others will build on moving forward. By moving just slightly within the infrared, visible, and ultraviolet ranges, we see various features revealed that we would otherwise be unable to see. Up next, article linked below on dark comets. These are the ones that don't look or act much like comets, but which can have surprise outbursts of activity. They now say there are two classes of dark comets in our solar system, massive outer system loopers and smaller inner system objects in tighter orbits. Interesting read. Last but not least, folks, we have absolute confirmation of the impact of magnetic navigation on ants. The critical moment of the study was when they flipped the magnetic field in the experiment, simulating a magnetic reversal of Earth, and none of the ants could find their nest, went in completely the wrong direction. I'll say it again as I've said many times before, every rung of the food chain will be dramatically impacted by the various effects of the ongoing magnetic pole shift. Folks, big event coming up on Saturday at Observer Ranch, our first special guest speaker. Would be a great weekend to come out to the ranch, and we would love to see you. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.